Howdy there, folks! How are you all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Take It To Let's Play It. Whoa! folks that is right we have the pure bd craft pack installed i was getting a lot of comments from folks asking if i could why i wasn't if i knew how to use this resource pack because of course it is classic everyone used this in their tech at classic tech at main tech at legends let's plays myself included i even have tutorials for all of those showing you how to get it installed but i was being a bozo and i couldn't find it but uh if we pause the game and hop out here real quick it's actually been out for as long as the pack came on the 27th of August. And uh, you've got your patch here, and you have the actual base Pure BD Craft. you got to have both of these. I will put a link to each in the description of this video. Just download the patch and the base Pure BD Craft, and then you can install those in your resource folder, enable both of them, and look at this. It looks absolutely stunning. I... this... this... <laughs> this is fantastic. I love this so much. This is what... Tech it is to me. This is what it looks like. This is what it feels like. Now, I did notice that there was an update, and one of my subscribers, I believe it was GSNL, even commented on my video saying that it was a shame that uh, they got rid of some of the EMC value in the, the patch. So that's the 1.0.1 patch. Some of the items, I think, either had their values removed or changed. I wouldn't know, because every time I've tried to start a world in 1.0.1, it crashes and says that uh, Matmos, or M. Atmos, is at to blame. I haven't figured out what the cause of that crash is or how to fix it. If you know and would like to comment down below and, and help me out, I would appreciate it. I'm going to try again after today's episode. But I wanted to hop in and record today's episode. Just ignore everything happening over there. And just show that, yeah, hey, you are all correct. The Pure BD Craft, or Sfax, as it used to be known, is available. And it does look lovely. I need to make a tutorial, I guess, for how to get this all set up. I recorded one. It was terrible, so I scrapped it. I need to try it again. But without any further ado, because we've opened up with a lot of... To oh, this is what our armor looks like now. Okay, I wonder if the shield is any smaller. Probably not, because that wouldn't really make sense for the shield to shrink from a texture pack. No, it's still massive. It's still obscenely massive. We'll hold on to it. And in fact, you know what we'll do is we're, we're going to put that inside of here. And you know what else we can do? I'm pretty sure if we put the repair talisman in here, and then we put in objects that can be repaired, like the diamond chisel, I think it'll repair them inside of our alchemical bag, or else I'll probably end up accidentally referring to it, the bag of holding. If I put Swiftwolf's Rending Gale in there, can I still fly? <laughs> of course not. What a silly question. Well, we've got that now, and uh, I suppose we should test my theory. Let's go ahead and grab maybe some stone. And then we will convert... You know what? Let's do let's do regular stone. We'll use this. So hold down shift and right click to convert it all into stone bricks. So that damaged that a little bit. Well, if we throw it in here, will it recover over time with the repair talisman? Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. In the meantime, I did say that today I wanted to focus on building a big, beautiful house, a base, a factory, something... And that is what we are going to do. We have pretty much everything we need for it. We've got Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. We have got our chisel, which is going to help us make beautiful blocks. And also, that is not being repaired over time, so maybe I'm crazy. And I don't know what I'm talking about. It is working now, though. Possibly it was working and just taking a really long time. Who can say, really? Who, who knows what's going on? Now, there is one more thing I wanted to build before I get started on construction. And that is... Sort of the inverse of the destruction catalyst. It is the mercurial or mercurial, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, I. And this is cool. It basically acts as a crafting wand on steroids. Speaking of which, is there one of those in this pack as well? We do have the ender offset wand, but I have a feeling that's not exactly what I'm looking for. This, though, will allow us to place blocks in large fields and planes and make building large structures easier. I don't know if I'll actually end up using it a lot, 
because I don't think I'm going to build a very big house, and I think there's going to be a lot of meticulous, detailed building, but it's definitely worth building. It's uh, red matter, though, is the only catch. This thing is very, very expensive, and we do not have enough EMC to build it. So why even mention it? Well, I just wanted you folks to know that it existed. That's not true. I intended to build it. I just didn't check the price before. <laughs> All right, my mistake. Okay, well, you know what we can build is frames. This is sort of, this is from call, uh, this is from a mod called Blog Craftery, which is sort of like carpentry blocks, and you can build a framed block using sticks, so really basic recipe, and then you can use those blocks to build stairs, to build slabs, to build uh, slants, to build all kinds of interesting things. Uh, even, well, that's a reinforced framed fence. I, I don't know if that's different than any other type of fence. I, that's the only type of fence I see. Why is it reinforced? Why is it not just a basic framed fence? Who can say, honestly? If we type in at and then block craftery, uh, we can actually see everything that this mod has to offer. And yeah, look, there are regular framed fences. So I guess maybe reinforced are just more durable, maybe explosion proof. I'm not entirely sure, but there's a lot of really cool potential here. And apparently it just requires iron nuggets to create the framed version. And as of right now, these all have EMC values. Again, apparently some things have changed in the 1.0.1. And I don't know what those changes might be, as I, again, cannot get it to launch because of the bug. But we're going to go ahead and mess around with these a little bit. And we're going to potentially be using them in our construction. So that's a regular block. And then a framed block is similar, just with nuggets. So what can you do with these? Well, if you place one down, you got that. But then you can get silly with it. So we're going to get a block of diamond here. And what we can do is we can put that block of diamond in there. That's a bad example because that's just a block. You could just put down a block of diamond. Do you know what you can't make though? is you can't make a block of diamond stair. Disregard that, that was a mistake. You can't make a block of diamond stair, but you can using this mod. How cool is that? And then you can shift right click to get your block back out, uh, assuming you have a free hand. There we go. I also got glowstone because at least with carpenter's blocks, yeah, you can add glowstone to these and they will emit their own light. So you can make a floor out of either the reinforced or the regular framed blocks, fill each individual block with a single piece of glowstone dust, and then your floor will be its own light source. Cool. And the chainsaw is great for breaking these. I assume an axe would work as well. I don't know if the characteristics change with a different type of block in it. They do not. I guess the real question on everyone's minds now is uh, which is better for surviving a TNT explosion? So I suppose we'll do the classic explosion test. That is classic because we've done it twice now, and that's that's pretty much it. And in fact, one time it, we weren't even testing the durability of an item. One time we were just testing an explosion. So we've only tested item explosive durability once down here, but it's already a classic. So on the left, we've got the reinforced. On the right, we've got the regular. In the middle, we got TNT. We got a button. Give me that button back. Let's move back to a safe distance. Yeah, the reinforced one survived. That means that it's probably, at least for us, because iron isn't an object we are hurting for, or I'm sorry, a material we're hurting for. And not to mention the fact that also they, they do, at least at the current time, have an EMC value. Might make sense to build everything out of these. That's right, even if we end up using some sort of planks as our flooring, by using these, they will be explosion-proof planks, and they will be able to emit their own light, and then also we can do fun and wacky shapes. So we can have doors, I believe, right there that are made out of any material. You can't have a stone door, can you? Well, now you can. Using either the reinforced or the regular framed door, you can have a door that is made of any material in the game, more or less. These are cool. I've always really liked, uh, th not this mod necessarily, because I've never used block craftery, but I've used carpentry blocks, and they work essentially exactly the same and I love them. So we're gonna be getting pretty extensive extensive use out of these. I'm gonna grab a few stacks, and I don't know if we're going to use any of the more exotic shapes, like they've got slants, they've got corners, they've got inner corners and outer corners, I should state. They've got walls, they've got fences, they've got everything. And I think we're probably gonna to stick to blocks, maybe stairs and doors for right now, because we're not gonna build anything too complicated. 
We just need to build a basic house to live in that is not a, a, a hilltop surrounded by fencing. Now, I did try to get one of my favorite Minecraft mods ever to work, and I, I kind of had some trouble with it because apparently they don't make it for Forge anymore, and that is the replay mod. And the replay mod is very cool. The replay mod will... Then again, is this even Forge? It is. The replay mod runs at all times, and it basically records all of your interactions in Minecraft, and then you can go back and create these beautiful, sweeping, panoramic... Uh, uh, time lapses of your activities. I may try in the future because I have a feeling this is going to be one of those series where we have more than one sort of build video. Uh, the alternative to that would be to just get a second player set up on another computer and have that sort of filmed from a distance, but we're gonna we're not going to be doing a time lapse today. That's just the decision that's been reached. Uh, we're going to be doing things a, a bit differently. It might not be as visually interesting as some builds I've done in the past, and I apologize for that, but we're going to be doing our best. So, first things first, I'm going to get rid of all the trees up here, and I'm going to be doing that using my handy dandy chainsaw. Right, oh, wow, okay, this looks very different without all of our stuff up here, doesn't it? Just a barren, uninteresting hill. Got a lot of stuff in our inventory. Man, I gotta tell you, ever since I got that comment from GSNL, anytime I open up my transmutation table and start dumping stuff in there, I find myself wondering, okay... Which of these items will I never be able to get back out of here because they no longer have an EMC value? It's a genuine concern to have. You know, we might end up in a pickle. Maybe come next episode, if I can get 1.0.1 .1 to work, we might end up in a situation where we cannot get certain things that we've put in here back out because they just don't have a value anymore. And I'll have to go find them out in the... Is that a sign? New mine and trade post coming soon. Not on my watch. I don't think so. The heck? <laughs> That's weird. Let's see what we have in terms of wood. So we've got cherry wood. We also have cherry wood. One is from Benny's Extra Trees and the other is from Forestry. Presumably they're both going to look very different. So lime wood could be interesting. These we all have a pretty good grasp of because they're all vanilla but let's see what we got here so limewood planks look shockingly like spruce so not not much different there cherrywood planks look shockingly like spruce so not much going on there and then other more different cherrywood planks oh these are the same so they both turn into forestry cherrywood planks well i suppose the question then is how bright do we want our flooring Ooh. I might actually like the lime wood better. But let's go ahead and we're going to take a nap and then we're going to go on a journey to just look around and see whether or not there are some other alternatives out there in the world. So we got maple wood here, which I don't think we have any of. Bring some of that home for sampling. I like the cherry wood itself, like the logs, more than I do the actual planks. Hmm. We seem to be quite limited by the variety of trees that we have in our immediate vicinity. There don't appear to be all that many. Uh, mostly just lime wood, cherry wood, and then your regular bog standard Minecraft trees. And then whatever this abomination is. Oh, just cherry again. Wait! Is this yet another volcano that is better than the one right next to our base? This is the, th this is the third volcano we found, and the second one that's just better. Maybe it's it's extra better because there's nothing seemingly evil going on around this one. Well, we're back, and the only thing we were able to find is maple wood, which, oh, I kind of like it. It's not quite orange, you know? It's not quite acacia wood in appearance. At least I don't think so. Granted, I don't have any acacia wood, although I guess I could. I think we just need to start smacking this. Oh, by the way, if you look up in the top left, it'll give you a preview of what you're going to get when you use the... Uh, Philosopher's Stone. So as you can see right now, it's showing sand, and if we shift, it'll show us cobblestone. Over here, it shifts between different wood types up there. So there's acacia, and then you can go the opposite direction if you hold down shift again, so let's go ahead and cut that down. I don't think it works with leaves, although granted, I've never tried. Now that I've said it, though, it's on my mind, and I need to find out. Okay, 
It looks like it will. We can get spruce leaves, birch leaves, jungle leaves, acacia leaves. That looks ridiculous. Let's leave it like that. Okay, so there's the maple wood planks, and now we have acacia wood planks as well. And wow, it's funny because this is how I remember acacia wood looking, and this is how it actually looks. I kind of like the maple wood planks, and I think we're going to go with those. Now, at this point, I had hoped to find marble to build our house out of, and it's possible that maybe I just wasn't looking in the right places. So, I mean, I'm just going to go underground. I'm going to bring a bunch of torches with me, and I'm going to dig in a straight line and see if I can't happen upon some. I don't feel like we'd need to be super low for this either, so maybe we just go to something like... Well, maybe even right here, level 40. Crank this bad boy up and just start going. Oh my gosh, that worked. I can't believe that it worked, but it worked. We've got marble, everyone. Did we already collect some? We did, and it has an EMC value. Again, though, it might not in 1.0.1. I wish... I wish I could get that update to work. Well, folks, I was starting to be driven crazy by the idea that I did not have 1.0.1 and that there could be massive changes in there that I didn't know about, and I really didn't want to continue the series any further without trying to address that, get it working, and then we could carry on all together in the latest version of the pack. So, I did it! I I just removed M Atmos. <laughs> I just deleted, well, so I use PolyMC as my launcher, and it's very easy to go in there. There's a checkbox of the mods. I just unchecked it. So it's technically still installed in my system, I just removed it, and yeah, it opened right up. So we are now on the latest 1.0.1 update. We have marble, and it does still have an EMC value. Thank goodness. One thing I'm not too sure about, though, is what no longer has an EMC value, and I guess we're going to find out as we go. I suppose the next time we open this bad boy up and we're like, oh, man, I guess we need some leaves, and they're not in there. Well, then we'll know, but we'll know. But yeah, but now, okay. We are officially updated to 1.0.1. We officially have the Pure B Deep Craft mod pack, and we have marble. Everything is right in the world. Did Lime have it? I don't think Lime had it before, so I think we're probably safe there. Let's get to building. So the reinforced frame blocks are relatively affordable, so I think we will go ahead and use those everywhere we can. Whether or not we're going to put glowstone in each one, though, Glowstone's kind of expensive. A stack of that is worth 24,000 EMC, so probably not. What we might end up doing is I will use this as the flooring, and then we will enable F7, and that'll show us where mobs will spawn on the floor, and it can go back and retroactively replace those pieces. But for right now, let's figure out how to do this. Well, I suppose we should also go ahead and try to determine whether or not we're going to be using regular marble or some form of chiseled marble. So what are our chiseled marble options? Now I like the way that regular old marble looks, but maybe let's go ahead and we will make a sampling of, let's say, this lovely weathered brick marble. We can always turn it back if we end up not liking it. And there's a ton of other options in here, but... Oh, they got marbled bricks too. So that is marbled bricks. This is weathered marble. You can kind of see the difference. And then this is just plain old blocks of marble, which, I mean, maybe I just want to use marble as my floor. I know I said that I liked the maple. I do kind of like the maple. It's hard to say. Maybe we use a little bit of both. You know what? Maybe we start down here with our mine, and maybe by framing that out, we'll get a better idea. Oh, gosh, I want to be careful with this. Do we have it on dirt mode? It looks like we must. Otherwise, it would be insane right now. But by framing this out, maybe we can get an idea of how we want the house to look. So let's start making some of the more interesting and, and more useful, arguably, reinforced block types. So we've got reinforced stairs now, as well as reinforced doors. We might actually be able to make, yeah, we can make a, a maple door, but it won't be explosion proof. This here, check that out. We throw that down there. Place that in. Okay. Well. I don't know if I want the door to be invisible. There's got to be some way to fix that. Block Craftery doesn't have any sort of tools, which is what I expected it to have to change the appearance of a door. Sometimes in these mods, if they don't have a dedicated tool, you just whack it with a stick. 
No. So I looked up the mod on Curse Forge, and apparently reinforced blocks are not only blast resistant, but also fire resistant. And there doesn't appear to be a way at this time to change the door appearance, which means maybe we will be going with the standard maple door. It looks good. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't I don't have any issues with it. So marble stairs are not a thing, and I'm assuming that weathered marble stairs are not a thing either. And that, my friends, is where we're going to get the most use out of our reinforced frame stairs. So I've got those up there, and we're going to uh, right-click glowstone into each of those. And then we're going to add our bricks. Okay. All right. It's subtle. It's simple. I like it. <laughs> so now we've got our mining room here. And I think this is where, once again, we're going to get some use out of reinforced frame bricks. We're going to go straight down the middle here. Not do that, because that was a mistake. We're going to place glowstone in each of these. And that's going to be our light source. So again, we don't need it in all of them. Just those center ones ought to do it. And I do like the look of the weathered bricks for down here. It makes sense for a mine. But I don't know if it's going to be sort of the permanent look for down here. But it does look nice. So as you can see, it does, as it's getting dark, it does light up the space. And it does so, I mean, kind of naturally. You don't even really notice that there's light being emitted from there. It just, it almost looks like it's glowing from the outside, or from the inside out. Except for in the middle, where we use these along with glowstone to have light up paths. Ironically, ironically, you could probably just, yeah, make stairs out of these and... And yet we're using, we're using these. I don't, I'm not, I'm not saying there's sense to my actions. Is there a way to tell using Wayla whether or not these have, oh, wrong button, whether or not these have glowstone? No, they don't seem to show any difference. Oh, you can just keep putting glowstone in these? Wait. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Do I get it all back if I break it? No! Okay, well, be mindful of that, folks. Okay, alright, you know, it's it's alright, except for this looks awful. So, I guess I replace all of that with marble now. Alright, yeah, you know what, we're, we're getting there. This is starting to look like something. This could be better, though. If we did more of a, uh, like a one of these. See where I'm going with this? Hold on. <laughs> okay, maybe we went the wrong direction with this. You know what? I kind of like it, though. I kind of like it. And I like how all of this glows now, even in the dark. I feel like this at the top, though, is it's a bit too tall. That's that's part of what's making this look funny. Clickety... Lickety. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, that still looks kind of silly, but I kind of love it. And yeah, I went with the regular marble in the back, not the, uh, not the marble bricks, and I think it works. So we've got our mining station down there, and it swings around up here, and this is where we have to have a house now. So I would like there to be a barrier between the road that's going to encircle our house here and our actual house. I want a one block wide space for grass, for bushes, for flowers. So the house starts here. No, here. So at this point, I want it to look like we have a retaining wall all the way around that is built of marble. We are going through the marble. Fortunately, each individual block is only one EMC, so this is not a particularly uh, expensive procedure. So let me acknowledge that, yes, things may have gotten out of hand. At some point, it stopped being about laying down the foundations of our house or creating an outline for a road and turned more so into defining our territory because there's someone trying to open a mine over here. There's whatever's going on over there that we don't really want to get involved with. And I just want to make sure that we got a big wall around us, you know, sort of denoting where where we are, where our land starts. And, and where the wilderness begins. Ladies and gentlemen, after two hours and nine minutes, we have managed to manufacture 
a very large wall, and already I see a problem with it. Wait a second. That's not a firm foundation. You can't be building on top of dirt. That's not gonna do. We're gonna have to fix that. Just patch all that up. There we go. Okay, okay. As I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, after a mere 2 hours, 9 minutes, and 36 seconds, we've managed to construct a very large wall. Wait! Wait, what is that? Wait, come on now! Come on, you're making me look sloppy. You're making me look like I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay, now. Now the wall is perfect. And I gotta go take a break. Because I'm, I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I have to go to the bathroom. Can you check out my pets? I've got chores to do. I need to wash the dishes. We'll be back. We'll continue. Alrighty, folks. We are coming back to this a few hours later. And I was wrong and a dope. The replay mod does work with Forge up to... 1.12.2. It's not until 1.14 that it stops working. Boom! Recording started! Now, this wasn't easy to get working. I had to disable the custom start screen, or main screen, the custom main menu, as well as, I mean, even after doing that, it would crash every time I tried to start, and there was one other mod that had to do with scaling the main menu. We still don't have Matmos enabled. Maybe I'll try that now. Uh, I've done so many things. I've <laughs> updated Java. I've jumped through so many hoops. I, I, I gave it more RAM. But uh, we're finally in, and now we should be able to do an epic time lapse of this build. Apparently, I can put down markers by pressing M. Oh, except for that's, that's connected to space. We can go to so many places. We're going to space. Don't you worry about it. But uh, first off... Let's go into our menu. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of things here. These might... Oh, oh, pause recording, stop recording. Fantastic stuff. Mouse button five. Perfect. That's going to help me set markers for... Yeah, when I go to edit this. That's so exciting. Okay. Oh my gosh! I was gone for like three or four hours at the most. Oh, oh, oh my, my gosh the heck? That's the wrong button. That's, that's big menu. How did we get the big map up before? I thought in, I thought, wait, I thought M was the big map. What button is big map? That's the wrong big map. Okay, we're going to temporarily disable the galaxy map, considering we've never seen it before to begin with. That's what I was hoping for. Oh. Well, well that's concerning. What? What is this? Oh my gosh. Do we think that maybe whoever's been adding to the portal over here, do we think that possibly, potentially, me building this wall, they read that as some sort of challenge? Because I said we were defining our borders. Maybe they felt like they needed to do the same thing, and that's why they've got these little purple eyes of Sauron all over the place. Oh. Uh. Nope. Nope, not today. Not today. Not today. We're not going anywhere near there. If we need to go to the nether, we'll build a new nether portal. What's going on back here? See, that was there before. I remember seeing that from a distance. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what we're going to do is we're not going to go over there. We're not going to associate with any of that. We're not going to affiliate with any of that. We're just going to come on over here and... We're just, we're just going to carry on with what we were doing. There's so many monsters here now because I neglected to sleep in time. Hopefully we get some rest and then we can chainsaw them all to death and, and get to continuing this little project of ours. It's not like we're actually in danger because we've got some incredible armor on right now and a really powerful tool. How did we get a pig up here? It must have gotten up here when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that was, that was stellar. Okay, all right. You know what? I think we're good. The spider, I'm not too. I'm not too worried about creepers. As long as we hit fast, we can deal with them. Right. Setting a marker on replay, and I'm getting back to ignoring that and building.
Okay, and that does it. The wall is finished, and it is magnificent. It's shaped, it almost looks like it could be a horse, but like a bad one. Like these are the two front legs, and then it's both of its rear legs are kicking off, and then it has the stubbiest little face up there. Something like that. Or if I had just contoured this part, if you look at the mini map, actually, you can see, hold on. Well, let's use the other map, I guess. You can you can kind of see how if I if I brought the inn down some more, it could look like a horse. It could absolutely look like a horse. I was just following the shape of the ground. Now, as for why I filled it in, uh, eventually I'd like to bring all of the dirt up to level. I want this to be completely flush all the way across so that, you know, from here you can just walk to the wall but but then the edge is here and then the monsters can't get to me and then hopefully we've got enough torches in here they won't spawn in here and then we've got to do something about this over here because anything could just walk up these stairs and be in my house so maybe build some kind of like gatehouse down there or something make it a part of the mine maybe block all of that off with a gatehouse oh we don't even really need stairs I can fly now we are hurting for EMC. It's it's a bit of an issue right now. We we've used up a lot of it from I think I just accidentally threw my bag in there. We used up a lot of it from just making marble and actually glowstone was I think the one that really hit the hardest. Glowstone cost us a lot. I think I'm done for right now though. I'm tempted to wait till we get to the mercurial eye before I fill all this in cuz it's going to take so long or maybe between every episode, I'll just fill in a bit of, just a wee little bit of extra, um, extra dirt until eventually it's all full, instead of doing it all in one go. But now we actually have to build our house, because we don't have that yet? <laughs> all this time, all I've been doing is, um, it's building a wall. I've not actually built the home yet. That'll have to wait, though. I need another break. I have to go to the bathroom again. It's been about an hour 20. Gotta go to the bathroom. Gotta get some food. Gotta edit some videos. So we'll be back. Okay, well, we're back, and it doesn't look like anything new has happened over here, so that's good. I did just live stream this again, so I'm live streaming a separate playthrough of this game on the uh, Cub, or the Howdy Folks gaming channel. I almost said Cub Games. <laughs> Not, well, I mean, technically, yes, it's the same channel. But it's time for us to now build a house. I just built a house in my other world, and I got to experience what it's like to build a house with cherry wood which looks pretty interesting as a roof. We have two different types of cherry wood here. We're not going to use either of those. We're actually going to go on a bit of an expedition to see if we can find a different type of wood. So there's one type of wood that we had, but then I didn't actually get any of it condensed. And I believe that would be this right here. Is this the honeysuckle or whatever it is? The sugar maple. I was so close. The sugar maple has an interesting look to it. And uh, we didn't actually get any of the wood. I know we have the planks. Don't at me. I know that we have the planks. But... I don't think we have any of the wood left over. So I'm going to collect a tree's worth of it, take it home with us, get that condensing. And then, man, I really do wish 
that we could find some different trees. I've tried my best. I've looked all over the place, and I've I've yet to find any. I mean, we might need to go really far afield is the issue. If we have a look at the map, which still has a massive blacked out space above my house. I wonder if there's something I need to do to fix that. Do I need to delete something and then reload it? Maybe like map data? If I delete the map data, will that come back? I don't know. So we've been up north, of course. We started our Let's Play kind of over here somewhere. I, I don't even remember where now. I don't think I could get back to there if I tried. I don't know what's happening here. I, I definitely haven't gone up there. This is the village we stopped at before. Oh, and I'm just now realizing that that entire journey we did around here was unnecessary if we wanted to live in the fields because there was some right here, just kind of right inside that. Mm, okay, well, let's let's check our EMC. How are we doing in our client star? Not too good, not too good. We're not doing too good with EMC in general uh, because I used so much on glowstone to unnecessarily light every single piece of the pathway, which I do not regret. Yeah, so we're looking at a whopping 43,000. So we can fill up our Klein Star, but then we're not going to have a whole lot left. Oh, well, we're going to go on a journey now at night to see if we can just fly in this direction and maybe find some different trees. I feel like there has to be some different trees if we just look up wood. And, I mean, yeah, look at all these different types of tree that we just have not found. Where's where's the purple heart wood? Where's the Iroko wood? Where is this stuff? Oh, do we have to breed it? Do we have to breed trees together? Do we have to get a balsa sapling and a teak sapling to make an Iroko sapling? They get balsa. Teak, dark oak, and jungle to get teak. Tree breeding? I didn't know that was a thing. Well, we're definitely going to be doing that at some point, but uh, not right now. What I've noticed is that this is not unique to the world that I'm presently in. I have a different world for the live streams that's using a completely different seed. So this one was Cub Games, that one was Brachiat Cub. Different biomes, exact same tree selection. So here's the ocean. Our best bet might be to just follow the rising sun and see what awaits us on the other side. Oh, pirate ship. Pirates. I mean, maybe we can do this. It's the worst that could happen here. I did not bring my shield with me. But also, it looks like we might not have to do much here. Looks like they might all start killing each other. This might just be a matter of, of being patient. Oh yeah, they've all walked the plank now! <laughs> oh, this must be the captain, he's staying behind to go down with the ship. Well, this will not end well for any of them, honestly. Oh, yeah, he's got a- he's got a little- he's got a little parrot! I love that, he's dead now. Do we get the parrot? Oh no, the parrot's gone. It's flying away to better days, probably. Okay, well, that's everything dead. Uh, Polly want a cracker? Because I, I don't have one, so I hope not. Oh, where'd you come from? There's a spawner back here or something? Oh, there's a lot of them. There are a lot of them. All I've got with me right now are cranberries. Get away! I'm trying to eat cranberries. Leave me alone. Some gold mugs and a bow. Oh, where are you guys coming from? What the heck? Oh, inside of here, maybe? All right, we're leaving. We're about to die. Uh, there's not much treasure here. All right, we're, we've made it to land. There's an even smaller volcano. Oh my gosh, we found an entire forest of birch wood. It's actually lovely. This is this is this is darn near picturesque. But again, it's the same trees. It's vanilla trees, rubberwood trees. Various cherry and a honey, honey lock maple or whatever it's called. I keep forgetting what it's called. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lime wood also exists. I don't know if we considered that in our list of the the four additional trees that we have. I got another village. I want to throw out there that I did not realize this, and I should have. But a uh, longtime subscriber Maria Moore pointed out that you can just right click if it's a fully harvestable crop, and it'll collect it but leave the seeds. And I can't demo it right now, because there we go, potatoes. Ah, just right-click. But it only works on crops that are fully grown. Okay, well, you know what? Never mind. We came all this way. There's another weird line. Basically for nothing. At least now our house is fixed. We can go back to our wrong horse. Now, I never did... I haven't released the last video yet, so I don't know whether or not you folks are okay with me teleporting. But I'm doing so right now, because what's the point in manually flying back here? So we already landed on the Maplewood Planks. 
And I guess in addition to that, we will use probably marble. Definitely marble. So I'm going to start a recording. I made it to where it doesn't automatically start recordings because I didn't want to do it while I was live streaming. Like the chicken just breached our wall. That's, our sec that's how secure we are right now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get to work. <laughs> And we're done folks here it is maybe I like it maybe I hate it I haven't decided yet what I do know is that if we go outside I I, I took influence from Tech it Legends as well as Tech it Main as well as Tech it Classic pretty much all the greats in my past I got the big roof from the Tech it Legends we got the marble from the Tech it Main and then the, the Tech it Classic we it's, it's a look. It's mostly glass. I wanted it to feel like it was outside without being outside. One of my other ideas was to just leave it open and not put in glass at all. But I think it's going to be a while before we have it secured completely from monsters. So I figured, you know what? Glass is cheap. Just use regular old Minecraft glass and that'll keep us safe. It, it's a good juxtaposition towards that mess over there. I built it with this little room jutting off to one side. And I figured we might put like a basement down there or something. Again, all of this will eventually be brought up to be level with the house itself, or maybe it won't be. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This is just sort of all my, my little safe. I thought maybe we'd put the rocket launch station over here because we're going to go to the moon in a couple episodes, you know, if we can get that going. And I say in a couple episodes, but uh, here's here's a problem, folks. Here's a problem. I, I have built this place, and it's being lit right now with a bunch of torches because I don't have enough EMC to get a bunch of glowstone, even just to put down like strategically placed uh, bits, I don't have enough. There's my MFE, and I've got all of my other machines inside of here, and I guess I should go ahead and set those back up. I haven't really thought about where to put them. Maybe over here is what we'll do. I should have a back door, maybe a door right here off the side, or, or maybe right here in the middle. I I don't know. Is there a middle back here? Yeah, we definitely do need a way out other than going to the front door here. So not permanently, but for right now, this thing needs to be in full view of the sun. But interestingly, I don't think that it matters whether or not the sun, like if it goes that direction, I think it'll still count as being full sunlight. Yeah, and then we'll pipe that in under the house. You know what I just remembered is, don't we still have our bat box around here somewhere? Yeah. We'll put the bat box on the low voltage solar array for no real reason. 
just because we, we have it and we should use it. So it'll come down into here and then that'll uh, start filling up and carry into the house. So there we go. Out of sight, out of mind. Look at these leaves out of here. Solar panels can get hot. We don't want the uh, ground to catch on fire. That's not a thing that can happen in this mod pack. Don't worry about it. I shouldn't say things like that. So then that cable comes in. And so we'll fill in this hole here. And that cable, we can have it run up directly into our MFE. And then let's actually have both of our generators also hooked up. Maybe like right here. Also hooked up to the MFE which we want to rotate around and then we will have gosh see now we're in a now we're in a pickle because we have the power come out and then what go into the ground again and then there's just this bare spot here are there like cable hides or something like that let's see covers oh okay well we got a super conductor cover maybe that's what we want looking up cables i don't see anything in here that would be what we want Advanced alloy, we've made some of that before. We might have everything we need for this. It might be worth testing real quick. Oh, iridium plate though. No, never mind. I take it back. It's not worth <laughs> it's not worth testing right now. Yeah, I guess we'll just have it go into a block here and it'll be disgusting. We will replace every visible brick. Anything you can see from above, we will replace right now with uh with marble. See, if we do this, it's going to connect up to that cable, and I don't want it to. I wonder if we can use our wrench to stop that from happening. No. No, we cannot. Well, there's actually nothing wrong with it connecting up there. It'll still work, other than the fact that I just don't like it. According to the internet, if we use a painter from Industrial Craft Classic, we can make it to where they won't connect. So that could be an option. So that's iron and then wool. And I'm assuming whatever color wool we'll use is what color it'll come out. So I guess we need to make a couple of these. Painter. And that'll be a white one. And then we'll make a black one as well. That also came out white. <laughs> to make it black, we're going to add ink. Or I guess actually we'll add some dye. So... I don't actually have any dye on me. We're going to have to make some. There we go. So we'll never have to do that again. Presumably, it'll hold these colors forever. I don't know if it ever runs out of durability or if it runs out of paint. Maybe we have to add more dye. I've never used these before. I've never had need to. But apparently, any color will still match up with an unmarked one. So what we want to do is mark maybe these two as red and this one as yellow. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So with those marked as red and those marked as yellow, they will not connect. That's handy. So look at that filling up. And then also we're going to need to replenish all of the power in there. So, ooh, let's just go alchemical coal. We don't want to waste all of our very limited EMC that we have left right now. So pop those in. I want to make sure the sound was still working because I can't hear these at all. I, I noticed that the update changes IC2 sounds to be all the way down at like 50 Maybe let's bring it up to something more reasonable. I kind of like having the rumble of a generator. But I can't hear it at all still. That's that's maybe a bit too far. It's also been very quiet without Matmos, so I need to figure out how to get that working again. We genuinely do not have enough EMC to get a diamond <laughs> to get all of our machines hooked back up. We've got our... What all have we got in here? We've got a macerator, a compressor, we've got a furnace, and I can't hook up any of them. Anything at all in here that's got... Oh, we can get rid of our chisel. We can get another one back later. But wait. This is still not enough. This is only going to get us, what, four cables? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. See, the plan was to have them go around and then have them come up. Okay, well, you know what? That's enough cable to get the two most important ones back up and running. So we can get our furnace and our macerator running again. So macer... Important to note is that before we plug them in, we'll need to make sure we put... We need to put the transformers in them. Or they will blow up. 
Well, folks, let me tell you about what I'm going to do now. I think we're done with this Let's Build. It's been uh, two days and, and more hours than I'm currently aware of. I'm going to take my Destruction Catalyst, assuming I can get one. I don't know how much EMC it costs. I'm going to trade in everything I got for it. And then I'm going to go underground and I'm going to just start digging until our EMC supplies are restored. Thank you folks for watching. God bless you. And I'll see you later. Bye.